Today we're gonna have a little bit of fun because we have a drone from a company called Snaptane and this is the SP510 model. And so what makes this thing pretty awesome is because it's orientated more towards the beginner so it's more budget friendly but most importantly it uses the GPS function. So if you always wanted to fly a drone but didn't want to spend the higher dollar amount this model here will get you started for a fraction of the price. All right so let's look at the details real quick. So it comes in this box it's got this really nice color shifting material so it's quite unique looking so we have a picture of the drone this is what it looks like and it is foldable so these things do fold in and we also do have a camera now it's not gimbaled so it's stationary so it's not going to be a smooth but it should be more inadequate to fly it around with a first person view through the phone and the great thing about the camera is it does adjust 90 degrees down so let's take a look at some of these functions so there's a 2.7k HD camera a GPS mode waypoints so you can set the drone where you want it to fly and it'll fly and then come back point of of interest like you can fly around you follow me that'll make the drone follow you gestures for photo and video so you can understand gestures through the camera one key takeoff and landing return to home which is a great feature ATTI mode basically gives you full control of the drone headless mode and it is foldable and on the back we just have a little bit more information so it looks like it's quite a small footprint all right so let's open the box so there's this nice cover on the top and that just pulls right up. And then we have the box itself. And you do get a carrying case. And it looks like that you can actually store your drone in this box when you're traveling or you know want to put it away. So that's nice. And it does have a handle here. So there's some indicators for open. And it is magnetic. That's a nice touch. All right, so this thing looks like it's packed really nice. So here we have a little activation card. So you probably should register to get that warranty. A loyalty card and some coupons. So we have the remote over here and there's a little cover on top of it that has some labels it says return on off, take off landing. That's interesting. Pretty nice looking remote. There's some pads over the joysticks. Oh, that actually feels pretty good. All right, so it looks pretty nice. We're gonna take a closer look in a second. And here we have the actual drone and it's actually quite a good size. I mean, you guys can see it's in my hand and it's not very large. I really like the size and it folds up quite small where you can just throw it in your backpack. Very cool. Build quality overall seems to be quite solid and you guys can see how the arms just fold out. So and they do kind of like click in so. So fold it out we can see it gets quite a bit bigger. Very cool and it looks like there's some lights here on the edges. And right in the middle, here's where our battery will go. Definitely a nice design. So here we have the full manual. It looks like the battery. And it's very nice. It has a button here. And I'm thinking this is the power button. And also the battery indicator. So if you hold it, it looks like it goes up and then back down. So this is where you charge it. And it is a micro USB cable. So this battery is made just for this drone. And it is a 7.4 1500 milliamp. 11.1 watt hour battery so pretty good size battery all right so here we have a box that says blade on it and there's two type of blades they're labeled a and b but it looks like there's more in here than just blades and there is so you get a little phillips screwdriver the micro usb charging cable and a full set of propellers and they are labeled a and b underneath there so so very cool so if you ever break a propeller you have extra ones and also we have a little baggie of little tiny screws I'm guessing those are extra and also some more screws and it actually has a picture here in the front showing what they're for it says for the arms and these are for the propellers all right and so that's everything for the box and as you guys can see you can definitely use this box as a carrying case so i'm going to put the extra propellers in here put these extra screws in here screwdriver and obviously we can store our other stuff in here like this manual so we can refer to it if we ever need it and you can totally use this thing as a carrying case very cool all right so first things first you want to charge this batteries the reason why is because these lithium-ion batteries if they're sitting in the box for a while they can have this thing called phantom charge where they're just acting like they do have a charge but they're really weak and they just die quickly and that damages the battery kind of or degrades it for longer use so you want to make sure you get a full charge on it right off the bat so i'm going to go ahead and plug it in in the charger here 
and we can see that it's actually almost full anyways so as our battery's charging we can go ahead and take a quick look at this manual and you definitely want to go through this especially if you've never flown a drone there's some very helpful and useful information in here for you to learn about they lay out everything really nice so the micro SD card is on the side and if we're looking at the front of it it's right here on the side so you will need to have your own micro SD card if you want to record from that camera. And also guys, looking at this thing, looks like our remote here also needs a charge. So I didn't even think about this, but yeah, there we go. So we need to put this thing on charge also. All right, so I got it plugged in here next to my computer and we can see that it's going a little red. Now the next thing that's quite important is we're gonna to need to download an app. So they do have one for Android and iOS. So I'll be downloading the Android one and it's called Snaptain Nova. So this is what the app looks like. Let's go ahead and install it. So it's about 70 megabytes open and this is what it looks like. So here we're going to choose our model, just SP510. We have a picture here of what it looks like. Okay, so the remote's charged and it does glow green once it's full and the battery just glows solid. So let's go ahead and install the battery into the drone and see where the connections are. Click it in there and that's it. Simple as that. And to take it out, there's two little tabs on each side. Just push it. And then pull it out so let's grab our remote home button power button here's where we're going to take our picture or start recording and then this is our angle of the camera and on this side we have speed so this will increase the response of the drone now on the top here we have two antennas and they fold out so they pretty much are preset there's not much you can do you can just take them out and rotate them a bit now on the bottom we do have some handles that fold out and so this is just so it's a lot more comfortable to hold the remote and for the last part we have in the center here our phone holder and underneath that there's a logo and then some LED lights indicating what is on and functioning so so this phone holder is quite small and you can tell my thumb here so but it does retract or you can put something quite large in there but if you have a really large phone it might not fit in here here we have the Galaxy S7 it's kind of an old phone and it's kind of a medium sized phone so and it fits in there really nicely and that's what it looks like this button here is the headless mode and then over here is takeoff and land and our camera button is on the left side and our video recording button is on the right all right so according to the manual we power the drone on first so let's go ahead and do that by holding the button and there we go it lights up and there's actually lights ends of the propellers and right now it's blinking red so i guess it's wanting to pair so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to power on the remote so we're just going to hold that and there it goes. So the drone actually flashed and connected, looks like. So here on the remote, we can see some indicators. So we have a light here that's blinking. And then we have all our information lights here glowing, and they're different colors. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to calibrate the compass. And we're going to go up and towards each other on the control knobs here like this all right so once you do that you can see it's like blinking really fast red and blue i don't know if you can tell it's because it's going crazy what we need to do now is spin the drone counterclockwise in 360 motion like this and we can see that two of the leds stop blinking and then there's two more that are blinking meaning that we completed our first step so our second step is to grab the drone with the camera facing up like this spin it counterclockwise also And there we go, now they are solid here. But our other ones are not solid anymore, so maybe he wants us to do this again, I'm not sure. Okay, there it goes, yeah. So it looks like now it's ready to go. The next thing we can do is our gyro or gyro calibration. So straight up and away. And I guess it's finished. So for the next part, we wanna connect our app to the drone. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Wi-Fi settings and we're gonna find the drone, which is right here. And we're connecting to it. All right, so it looks like we're connected. Go back into the app and we'll start. And there we go, and now it is live. So what we're seeing here is what the drone is seeing. So hopefully, let's see if I can point it here at the box or something. And right off the bat, guys, the picture quality is very good. Very nice. So down here on the right in the corner, we can see our battery and our drone battery. On this corner, we have the Google Maps and it's not working right now. And if we click on it, it should open up, yeah. But it's not working because I don't have LTE on this phone at the moment. And the two really cool options here, if you click on this little remote here, we can see that we have a lot more options that pop up. It can do certain things here that could be quite useful. I like this one where it says follow. So for now, let's get this thing outside and do our first flight. All right, guys, we're outside and Marcus is going to be flying the drone. So hopefully you guys can see some, but we got it powered on and we do have some satellite there. So in order to activate it, you put the toggles towards yourself. There we go. So it powers on and it starts just idling so now all we got to do is click that takeoff button go ahead marcus and it goes right up 
so you guys can see that the camera is working very well sorry for the lighting it's very bright today and we can see we have GPS also so so it does seem to keep its location very well it does have some shake to it you guys can see in the camera but it is kind of windy around here so as far as holding the GPS it does a very great job looks like but in any case it's getting quite windy and you know it can't stabilize since it doesn't have any gimbal so on the remote this knob here if you go side to side it makes the drone kind of twist around in a circle so if you go up and down that's the elevation so if I go up it'll go up and if I go down it obviously goes down so and on the other side is all your controls of the X and Y axes so very easy to use and very intuitive alright guys so the next part I want to test out the return home function so we got it ready to go So I'm actually quite far away. On the phone here it says distance limited. So let's click return home and see what happens. All right, so it's doing something. I'm gonna put the remote down right here. And we'll watch the drone. Okay, so it's pretty much where it was. It is kind of windy, so it's kind of struggling to hold stability. I don't know if you guys noticed, it actually twists around so it films towards the way it's going. And look at that, right where it was. So as you see guys, the home function works great. And this is what makes the GPS worth to have. You have this function, if you lose power to the remote or you just lose connection, the drone automatically goes back home. All right guys, so I activated the follow me. I don't know if you can see that little icon is blue. So it's actually gonna follow me and it's facing towards me, I guess towards the remote. So let's walk around and see what happens. It's right there. Okay, so it's backing up. So whatever distance it is, it's following. Okay, yeah, it's definitely following. Okay, the wind's kind of knocking it off a bit, but it's quite windy today. Let's go this way and see if it follows us. Uh, look at that. It sure does. So yeah, guys, with GPS, you can see these functions are awesome because the drone can hold itself while doing these things like follow me and, you know, you can get it to fly around you. And you can obviously even set parameters on the GPS to go in a loop around something and then come back. So and It always lands very nicely, guys. Like it has a really smooth kind of land. Like it takes its time and does it right instead of just dropping out of the sky. So hey guys, as you can see, this thing is really, really fun to fly. And it's a lot more intuitive once you just fly it a few times, you kind of understand it a lot better and it just becomes very easy. Now with it being kind of small and lightweight, the wind really affects it, obviously. And the thing that kind of affects it more than anything is, you know, this viewing angle, since it's not stabilized in any way, you know, it's kind of jumping around a lot. But other than that, I mean, the drone has plenty of power to fly even in the wind, even strong wind. So I guess if you're trying to catch some, you know, decent footage, that might be a little hard if it's windy but yeah guys overall very nice drone has lots of features connects seamlessly to the phone no issues so if you ever wanted to try a drone out and you never have and you want something a little more reasonable not a complete little toy then this thing is a really great medium between the more pro stuff and the you know absolute kid stuff so this slots in really nice in between and you definitely don't want to have a fancy drone as your first one because you want to kind of learn the ins and outs of flying and there's quite a big likelihood that you'll crash it sometime or another especially in the beginning as you're first learning things and the way this thing's made is the propellers they actually are not hard points if they hit something they can bend instead of completely destroying the drone so this thing is you know semi made to crash here and there once in a while so so yeah super cool drone big thumbs up for it hopefully you enjoyed this video of the drone i didn't cover everything but i think you get an idea of what it can do and how it works so if you're interested in this thing i'm gonna have some links in the description check that out and as always guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one peace